on the map. Is she gonna be okay? It's not worth getting hurt over. What are you trying to prove? No one thinks a girl can do this, and I'm gonna prove them wrong. I know how much this means to you. I just don't want you to spend your life wondering what could have been. Action. It's crazy. I mean, I almost died in that water a couple of times, or I thought I was going to die. I knew it was going to be a challenge to take a non-surfer and teach them how to surf. I had no idea how big the waves were going to be and how I would really be put in the middle of the action. I wish everyone could experience it. Being a producer that surfs, I wanted surfers on the planet to say, this rocks, this is real. We decided we would move the movie to the mecca of all surfing, which is Pipeline on the North Shore. We wanted this film to be authentic, as did I, to thrust our girls not only into the world, but into the wave. And you have to come here. The culture is so pervasive here. If you're not into surfing, it's not the place you want to be. Everyone knows each other, and it's such a tight-knit community that there's no way you can blend in at all. This what? is a local spot. Hey, this place for the this boys. Guy over here. The guys that live there and surf that place every day, they're not going to make you feel 100% welcome and just come and take their waves, you know what I mean? Why don't you just relax, bro? Bra? Drew? What you telling me, bra? We never had like a real, real surf movie that expresses the real lifestyles that these people lead. I think it helped that I was a surfer, both because I was fascinated with the sport and I was able to kind of infiltrate the culture. In this subculture, you're dealing with two ultimately life or death consequences. One is you can get hurt and you can die and people do. Then the subculture itself, underneath it, are these very rigid rules about when you can take off and when you should paddle and when you shouldn't paddle. And if you violate it, guys beat you up. We may beat up each other once in a while, get mad at each other once in a while, but I'll tell you what, if one of these guys are in trouble in town and they're about to get cleaned out, we'll fly down there and pick them up. You going back out there? Yup. Hey, be careful. I think John did a really good job at capturing how real it is here. He hired a lot of local people, and I think that made everyone kind of like, oh, it's not just Hollywood coming to dominate the North Shore. They're actually embracing the culture and the environment, and I think that's what really made them embrace back. They put faith in my community, my friends, so I'm going to try and just do the best I can to have my friends help them out as much as they can. What, you think you can surf it for real? You know it. Whoa. It was important for me to make a movie in which a girl um, was able to realize her dreams and able to figure out how to balance these dual responsibilities of career and motherhood. Penny! What? No ditching. Okay. Someone's got to go to college, honey. Not me. My character, Emery, she knows she's been forced into the mother role, and she's had to give up her childhood. Leave me alone! I'm all you have right now! I don't want you to leave! I think that Penny is just upset that her mom left and she has to live with her sister. And like her sister has her own life too. Hey, so what's this I hear about you surfing the Pipe Masters? It's a surfing contest, not a drowning contest. Hey, why don't you stop hassling my girl? She's gonna dominate. Let's see what's gonna happen. She's afraid of entering this contest because she's had such a bad experience there. There's a competitive sexual energy. It's just such an easy way out to fall for this really rich, wonderful guy. And her friends, it's easy for them to see what's really going on and say, look, you need to get your priorities right. You've worked very hard to get to where you are. Some guy thinks you look hot and you forget all about that. You gotta have those people in your life that push you. It's hard for anybody to do it alone. Just tell me what to do, please. Just be the girl I met on the beach. Who? Who was she? A girl who'd never ask a guy what to do. Oh! 
hype is the deadliest wave in the world. Even amongst the professionals, there are very few girls who surf it. Pipeline becomes the ultimate contest for any man, and particularly a woman, just to survive it. Imagine the Niagara Falls dumping in two feet of water over hard rock lava with razor sharp reef and underwater cave. Oh, she's down. It's a sick feeling to like have this force that's so much greater and bigger than you, just taking you and pushing you down and you have no power over it whatsoever. Surfing is easy, surviving is hard. It's all about surviving. Everyone always says, okay, in order to do this, it has to be safe. If you go in the water, it has to be safe, okay? There is nothing safe in the ocean. There is risk involved. You here for the competition? You need to sign this release form? Case of death or dismemberment. Right when you get a taste of it, it's almost addictive because you just want to conquer it. And you never will. That's why surfers will surf till the day they die. The fact that the consequences are so great makes it that much more of a rush. My first full length wave, man. They think you can't charge waves. You're going to prove them right or wrong. We had the best girl surfers in the world working on this film because I knew if we were going to do anything that had any credibility, I'd have to talk to them first. He wants it to be raw and like real, be an expression of who we are. <gasps> People actually get to feel what it's like to get wiped out and to be afraid and, and to feel the joy and to see like what it's like being inside of a barrel. It's great because it's finally like women surfing is getting seen on from all those angles. They seem to understand what it, it is like if you're a competitive surfer. During the course of filming, these girls really just took it to another level. And I think even the most sexist male surfers were impressed by what they pulled off. Unlike any other sport I had experienced, they actually cheer each other on. They really are family. Film technology has changed so much that you can now get inside the wave, you can get inside the physics of the water, inside that washing machine that is relentless and can kill you, and you feel it. Working in the water is a completely different beast. We found the most efficient way to shoot surfing is to have a guy swimming in the water with a camera. ocean doesn't read the script. Dealing with the ocean, you can't think in the box. You have to think out of the box. It needs to be condition driven. Insane. We're getting waves when we're shooting. It's all syncing up. In professional surfing, it's like, you know, every day you wake up, you might be competing, you might not. You don't know. You have to go check in. That's kind of how the movie was, just chasing the conditions around and trying to get the shot. Saw it? Saw it. Did you see it? No. Me neither. <laughs> Having the water safety team was essential. It wasn't even like how important it was. Like without them, this movie wouldn't have been possible. If you don't get the best water patrol, if someone dies, you have to think about that. If I'm putting my life on the line for you, then just tell me I'll be safe and I'll do whatever you want me to do. It's a big ocean out there and a lot of current and shallow, razor sharp bottom. If you were doing a traditional stunt movie, there would be all sorts of things you didn't see on camera. This, they were out there in bikinis. And that was it. It's freezing in there. I feel like part of the polar bear club or something. It's amazing to see how swiftly and quick they are in the water. You, you definitely feel safe with them around, you know? All of my guys are such top athletic people, as well as professional um, EMS and lifesavers that it's second nature to them guys. They can be there in, in an eye blink. By the time you get up and try to yell help, you're already out of the water. All right, come on. The wave of the day go. Come on, go, go. Paddle, paddle, paddle Chadwick's hard. in the perfect go, position. Go. Paddle hard. Go. Paddle hard. Go. 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 This is it. This is yours. Don't pull back. Go. 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 This is the wave of the day. I gotta give 
give big props to Michelle and Kate. Here's two actresses that knew nothing about surfing at all. I love a challenge. City girl. The closest to that I've ever come is like the wave pool. Crash courses, it's all part of acting. That's what I love about it. You really get to learn the most important key elements of whatever it is you're making a movie about. Yeah! We understand how waves are created, where it's created from. So we give them that knowledge. We had Kate out there paddling around at Heavy Pipeline, and she was right there in the lineup, and she could have easily got caught inside and, and pounded. Yeah! I never really did panic. If I knew I was gonna wipe out, if I saw a really big set coming in, I knew I was gonna eat it. My whole outlook wasn't, oh my god, oh my god. I didn't intend to, I just thought, here we go. They all have gotten worked, gotten held under, scraped up on the reef, tossed up on the beach, but that's part of being a surfer. I felt like they were my kids or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was screaming. Michelle's like, yeah! Every day is a new experience and an unbelievable experience and the best ride. Every day I'm like, that was the best ride that I've had. Imagine that when people walk out of the theater, they'll feel really inspired. They'll probably want to go and buy a surfboard. It's like being in a volcano and just something shooting you out. I can't explain it. It felt good. I think it just shows the strength and independence and real individual unique beauty of women. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe 